Skadoosh. <laughs> Just letting that dickhead know he had a green light. I don't think he's paying attention. <laughs> but, uh, these people I ordered my gas tank through and my new subframe for my bike. I sent that guy fucking earlier. I thought he was going to kill me too. <laughs> and anyway, so the people I ordered it from, they triple charged me. This is fucked. They triple charged me on shipping. So the shipping was originally $50 and some bucks. No big deal. I don't give a flying fuck. And then uh, they email me, oh, your package is too large. We need to uh, send this via FedEx. So it'll be another $102 shipping. Fine, whatever, you know, I want these parts, I need them. I'll pay the money. So then, I get looking at my shit, and they charged me the total on one for with the new shipping, and then they charged me again for the additional shipping. So they charged me twice for the shipping. So then I call, and I'm like, yo, you charged me twice for the shipping, and I'm like, and you were supposed to send it FedEx. You sent me a tracking order for you, United States Postal Service. And she's like, oh yeah, sorry about that. I talked to my supervisor. We're going to refund you because you weren't supposed to, you didn't have to pay that extra money. I was like, hey, well, you have to refund me twice. I don't think you understand here. You have charged me twice for the shipping. So not only did you fuck me over, but now you owe me fucking, yeah. And they're just like, yeah, see, our charges show uh, you paying $800 and then $102, which is the original price of the parts and then the price... the price of the uh, shipping. I'm like, no, my credit card says $999 for one charge and $113 for the other. You guys fucking charge me twice. Okay, well, you're going to have to talk to your credit card company about that and see what the charges are and talk to your bank about conversion because that doesn't seem right. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty much she doesn't give a fuck, but at least she's paying me back one of the extra, extra charges. Dumb bitch. Why can't my brain just be at peace and be happy and okay my brain is just constantly like no not allowed you think you're happy you think you you found something to live for and shit oh hell no nigga <laughs> y'all you're all wrong i fucking i love making uh moto vlogs right now moto vlogging has kind of become my thing not that i have two subscribers now which is fucking dope but, so I'm still fucking so small in the whole motor vlogging game. I don't even know where to go anymore. Shit's fucking gay. What am I saying? I just said I'm fucking don't want to ride my bike? I just said this shit's gay? What am I? Somebody kill me. I'm a fucking, I don't deserve to be on this bike, lad. It's so weird to actually think that in like every single one of these homes there's people on their own path through life just fucking doing their thing like that I, I literally have no idea about. They could be extremely nice people for all I fucking know, you know? And then there's me, dickhead of all dickheads, being a dickhead. like. I don't understand. It's so fucked. There's so many goddamn fucking people, and yet nobody wants to be friends. So here's the things I see coming out of my moto vlogging. One, I'm gonna get charged or arrested with something for something. Wow, oh, do I even know how to talk? I've actually yet to get pulled over by any cops on my bikes. What a dick. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, buddy! <laughs> I like that shit. Um, yeah. So I... I hope nothing comes of it. But the way the laws are nowadays, it'd be so fucking easy just for a cop to charge me with whatever the fuck he wants, essentially. And then have the charges stick, because 
they want to make a make a whatever out of me make a point out of me you know don't drive around in your dual sport and do wheelies around town or we're going to charge you with reckless driving and wheeling and all sorts of other stuff I think this is the ghetto I think I'm in the ghetto what else do I see coming out of this I hope that I could uh, get some subscribers and have people actually watch my videos and shit that'd be pretty cool they say do do what makes you happy in life <laughs> the only thing that makes me happy is my motorcycle and I can't have sex with it no, I'd, you know, I can't ride my motorcycle for a living it makes me happy but I can't do it I hope I can find happiness in life and I hope motovlogging I don't know is motovlogging gonna help me find happiness in life probably not <laughs> oh that was a little wheelie oh that was sketchy <laughs>